Hello and welcome to the Prop Guide Show. My name is Srinivasram. The seventh pay commission recently submitted its report to the union government. In its report, the commission proposes an overall 24% hike in salary, allowances, and pension for the 4.8 million working central government employees and the 5.5 million pensioners. The overall financial impact of the report for the year 2016 and 17 would be close to a little more than 1 lakh crore rupees. Uh, so what would be the possible outcomes of this report and what would be the impact of this report on the real estate sector to know more about that we have mr ankur dhawan the chief business officer resale at prop tiger hello mr dhawan welcome to our show thanks uh, so mr dhawan the seventh pay commission proposes to raise the housing rent allowances for central government employees what impact would this have on the access that central government employees have to housing so see, if you look at this, is a very positive move, to be honest. Uh, most of the employees, if you look at in the government sector, were paying more rent than they're getting the benefit. So with increase in HRA, what we will see is that these, these employees will start getting tax benefit. So they will get tax benefit, which is an additional income, which they will be able to keep, save, save or maybe use for other stuff. So what I see is that this is going to help them in uh, increasing. They are li living in a uh, less rental housing currently and they want to increase, upgrade their lifestyle. So then they can upgrade because their HRA allowance has been increased. So that is the effect which we can expect from the market. In Indian cities where the population is 5 million or above, the housing rate allowance will be raised from 30% to 40% of the salary. Uh, but by global standards, renting is less common in major Indian cities. Now, would this hike in rent allowance encourage more people to rent out their homes? And consequently, will this, you know, raise housing rents? See, India is a very large country. Okay, there are around 220, 230 million households, to be honest. And what impact we are talking about is only 10 million households. Out of that, also 50% are pensioners. Typically, you can assume pensioners have their own home and they are staying in their home, so they don't need a rental housing. So the benefit which we are talking about is a very small minuscule number of 5 million. So I don't think this particular uh, announcement or this particular adoption of this 7th Play Commission uh, recommendation will start increasing the rent or will start increasing the supply. So the effect will be very minimal. What, what industries which can benefit out of this particular uh, announcement is mostly FMCG or you can assume the, uh, the consumer durable segment where you will see people spending a little more because their salaries have increased. But I don't think real estate per se will get any benefit of this particular 7th uh, Pay Commission. Will the proposal of the 7th Pay Commission, will it increase the stock of housing in India and thereby will it lower the housing prices? See, stock of housing is very, very, very independent out of uh, this particular announcement. Stock of housing in India needs to increase, but increase in affordable segment. Developers who are focusing on the higher end segment, luxury or mid segment will not be able to see so many buyers. People in affordable segment, the developers in affordable will see a lot more sales happening. So yes, obviously affordability increases because your salary is increasing, you can get more home loan right now. So I think in that sense, it benefits the real estate industry, but the size, as I mentioned earlier, we're talking only of 5 million or less households. So it's not going to be really a game changer for real estate industry. You know, one of the major things that this commission has proposed is that they have, you know, proposed rupees 18,000 per month as the minimum salary. So do real estate developers, you know, cater to government employees at this bottom of the income spectrum? So if you look at uh, developers, uh, Indian developers, typically they do not really go for that kind of strata. This is typically a government housing or the housing board of a different states will be doing the development. So you can see some of the schemes which, which we know about where this kind of affordable housing has been constructed will be constructed to be honest will be haryana affordable housing or up uh, samajwadi vikas yojana avas yojana so those kind of schemes where the government actually marda schemes where government actually develops houses for this kind of uh, uh, income strata only there you see this kind of developers are not really interested in building houses for the affordable segment or it, a segment which you're talking about 18000 income is pretty low uh, for which they will be able to create the affordable housing it is easier for a government employee to get a housing loan. So after this recommendation of the pay commission, will the developers or builders launch new offers or schemes to woo these employees? See, developers right now also are trying to uh, woo government employees. As you mentioned, they get easily a loan. But what I have seen is that government employees are also very smart. They typically form a group when they start buying a home. 
so these uh, when you have seen lot of examples where the defense employees scheme or the army schemes where these these guys get together and then they negotiate a very good deal with the developer and sometimes there are special towers which are created for this segment of the buyer so this is the way uh, the government employees typically they have a better uh, negotiation power when they go to developers and they create a group scheme where they buy a apartment or a pool tower in which the only government employees are staying thanks mr dhawan for giving your valuable time to our show thank you thanks for that thanks for watching our show stay connected